What is up, you guys? It's Bolton98, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 Season 6. We got an in game look at spawn, we got multiple crossovers, and two new weapons coming back from Modern Warfare 2019. Before we get too deep into this content, obviously we know we have Spawn, we know we have Ash from Resident Evil and all that stuff, but before we get too deep into that, make sure you guys go and hit that sub button. We have a lot of you guys new here, but some of you guys still not subscribed, 87.7% of you guys to be exact are not subscribed, but come back and watch the video, so I thank you for watching the video. So content wise guys, we have two new guns coming this season, one being from, both being from Modern Warfare 2019, one being an LMG, one being an SMG. We saw both these guns do pretty well in Modern Warfare 2019. However, they the LMG Bruin actually did really well dominant in Warzone 1 so we expect to see that probably carry over to Warzone 2 and it'll be super cool and nostalgic like to use so I can't wait. Obviously we know we have crossovers coming one being Spawn in particular so we do have Spawn in game here he looks very nice very big actually his operator is pretty you know oversized but it's super cool to see these guys being playable operators and not just like NPCs within DMZ or Warzone, but actually going to be able to be played with. So I cannot wait to get into this, you know, these Halloween bundles or crossovers because I love crossovers. Speaking of crossovers, we even have two characters coming from Diablo 4, one being, of course, Lilith and one being the Butcher. Now, these two characters, we are not sure if they're going to be playable operators. Maybe we see Lilith, but I don't think we're going to see butcher just because of the fact he's so big but i do know that these characters will have a spot in the haunting event within warzone and dmz so obviously we know that they're coming in the crossover form but we're not sure uh, if they're going to be playable another thing we look at is more crossovers so with this coming up we can see more crossovers with other scary quote-unquote scary games or movies that we may not even think of as far as being fans of call of duty this haunting event really sets that up because even for the hip hop series, we didn't know every skin we were getting. Now we kind of have a deep insight on some Modern Warfare 2 made skins, but there were still a lot of crossovers that we didn't know we were getting until toward the end of Season 5, like uh, Tomb Raider and all of them we didn't even know about until later on. So we hope to maybe see some type of content update within, you know, within this new update uh, that will kind of show us when the data miners go in and we can see these newer skins coming that we don't know about just yet. End of season six, we obviously know we're getting a new battle pass. With that battle pass comes two big characters. Nolan and Ivan are going to be those two big characters coming to the season six battle pass. They were in our shadow siege event at the end of it where they kind of killed the shadow company leader and basically were communicating with Makarov, which is a Russian, you know, enemy that we will be facing off in Modern Warfare 3. So, it does confirm more Modern Warfare 3 stuff is coming to this Modern Warfare 2 battle pass since crossover is going to be a thing or carry forward. So that leaves more room for a full Coney battle pass. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen because of Halloween being there. We could see Halloween skins be in our battle pass. So we'll just have to kind of wait to see all that. But as of now, these two guys are going to be our main two battle pass skins that have been semi-confirmed through leaks and data miners. So I cannot wait to see what other skins we see and other Coney operators that we get maybe we even get that soap skin that we didn't get through you know the challenges because task force 141 love and that is still in modern warfare 2 we just haven't got it yet so maybe we see that come out or maybe that drops with like one of the throwback bundles we talked about in the last video anyways guys i thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope you enjoyed leave some comments down below on your favorite thing we talked about or anything that you want to know coming into modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 season 6 anything and we'll try to cover it in the next video the guy the content is kind of going down because Modern Warfare 2 is ending. Uh, obviously, we have the haunting events, but Modern Warfare 3, we are not getting a lot of, like, release news on but as soon as that call of duty next event comes out october 5th we should be able to see some in live multiplayer gameplay and it does seem that zombies will actually be in that so i'll be covering more of that you know modern warfare 3 game further on into our you know future but for right now it seems like we are kind of just in this modern warfare 2 you know season 6 content update is going to be our main focus for now obviously we're going to keep going with the wish list and speculations but i want to know what you guys think what videos keep you interested the longest i'll see you guys in the next one peace out